my god i feel like this is just laura mercy get it together and share please lovely people welcome back to my channel it's your girl Angie with the curls and yes she's on youtube again i know it's been a minute welcome for all the people who are new and thank you guys if you're returning so today it's a bit of a different video it's a chit chat video who is she and i don't know i decided i want to do more chit chat sit down so you guys can get to know me a little bit more and just you know vibe out so Please stay tuned for this chit chat and then you can also see how I get this cute little hairstyle because I talk about that as well. So let's get started. Something's new, right? My hair is new. I got a new color. It looks crazy because it's dry and I need to wash it. It's been like two weeks and I haven't washed my hair. So today I don't know what I'm doing to my hair yet. I think either I'm going to do a wash and go or I'm going to do a flexi rod set. I think I'm leaning more towards flexi rods because I haven't done flexi rods in a while and I think it would just be so nice to show you guys my hair but I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about me. I feel like you guys know hair Andrea but I haven't done a Q&A just because I'm like so private. It's like I'm an outgoing person but I don't share that much and with social media it's like you have to share, people overshare and I'm just really not a sharer but I wanted to do my hair, chit chat, tell you guys where I'm from, and you know, show the final result of my hair. So let's get started. So I'm from Virginia. I was born in North Carolina, but didn't live there for long. So I say that I'm from Virginia because I've been living there for like 20 years at this point. But now I live in Texas, but yeah, my dad was a military brat and he was just moving all around. Shout out to the, the military brats. I have two sisters, so I have a younger sister. She is 22, wow, my little baby's growing up. She's 22 and I have an older sister and she is 29, about to be 30 in May. I think it's lit being the middle child because I'm not old enough, the oldest where I get in trouble for everything. But then again, I'm not the youngest to where I can't really do much. Shout out to the older siblings. They lead the way. Let me know in the comments, which one are you? Are you middle child, only child, youngest, oldest? Cause I wanna know. God blessed me with two beautiful sisters and everybody would always say like, are y'all triplets? And we're like, no, here's a picture. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like I said, I was a military brat and now I live in Dallas, Texas. So I just moved to Texas and no one talks about how moving is so, it can be so isolating and it's so stressful. Like I didn't realize how stressful moving was until I had to move to another state, like in-state moving. Okay. Out of state moving crazy like i almost had a heart attack and i drove 15 hours from virginia to texas to dallas texas usually when i like drive for a long time i like fall asleep but because i was following my little sister and my dad so my dad was driving the u-haul and then my dad and my mom were in the same u-haul fun fact my parents are still together they've been together for 32 years ain't that something round of applause so i was behind people so i didn't fall asleep because when i tell you i begin sleepy four hours i can't do it like i really can't do it i've been living in dallas for a month now a month and a half and i like it i live kind of in the country but when i move i'm gonna move to the city i love me some dc if my parents didn't move to dallas and they stayed in virginia i would for sure move to dc but my parents moved my sister moved so i'm like nothing's tying me to dc all my friends are out and about you know everywhere else so it's like why stay and I was in Roanoke, Virginia for a while and it was the country. I was in nursing school. So we'll get into that, you know, nursing school and now dropping out and being a, a full-time influencer. Tea, I gotta spill and I'll spill that later. But yeah, I was in the country. So I was just like, yeah, I wanna move somewhere else. And the option was either, I was thinking about, I had three options. DC, Dallas, Charlotte. I can just live in Dallas and I, all my family, they live in Dallas. I kind of wish I had that like family dynamic where I could, you know, see my cousins and everything like that. But that wasn't available because all my family lived in Dallas and just my mom, dad, sisters lived in Virginia. So I wanted to move to Dallas because I wanted to get closer with family and my grandma passed away. So I was like, it's time to be with family. 
and be closer to family. So, so far, like, I love it. I love living close to my cousins. It's been great. I'm definitely thinking about in the future living in DC or living in Charlotte. I don't know if Texas is the best place to raise kids. Let me do my hair. Let me stop talking. I love to talk and not do anything else. Like I need to be multitasking, honey. All right, so I ended up deciding to do the flexi rods. I'm trying not to use that many. So I'm using one flexi rod, bending it. So it's two sections, which I usually always do. And instead of wrapping around flat, I'm twirling it around or twisting it around. And I'm using some leave-in conditioner, my favorite go-to hair product. For twist outs, I don't even use cream, like curl defining cream. I just use straight shea butter. And shea butter has been my go-to. I always use Allocate Naturals shea butter because it just is the best. Like you rubbing it around your hands, it just melts it. It keeps my hair moisturized really the whole week. I just use shea butter and it's been like the holy grail. Like I usually do not have to use gel with it and it dries pretty quick, quickly. Like it dries within like, I don't even have to sit underneath a hooded dryer. That's how like nice it is. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. Twisting the top, taking my hair and just simply wrapping it around. I would caution you though, with doing this method, it can be hard to take out if you don't do it the right way. I personally make sure that I can twist these out. Like this one, I can't twist it out because it's not going the same way. So maybe I will actually take it off and then actually twist it the right way. You'll be able, yeah, to take it down, yeah. Just like that. Don't be like me, twist the right way. A couple more to go. Oh, and so when I do my wash and goes, like I said, I don't use any cream, not even when I do my twist outs. I literally just use foam. And my favorite foam, my go-to foam is the D-O-U-X. That is my absolute favorite. The original one, they have two now. The original one slaps every time sorry that is my dog and he is just going to town with that damn toy my favorite leave-in conditioner i would say is kinky curly that is my favorite hands down leave-in conditioner because it's just so like it just goes on it glides on so well no flaking nothing sometimes i also like the blueberry bliss leave-in conditioner but sometimes with that one if you use too much it like leaves white flakes. Okay, I think it would be best if I split this in half, right? Just like that. And then do two and two in that section. Nursing school, like I said, was hard and I like medicine. So it wasn't bad because I was, you know, studying medicine. I've been studying medicine since like high school, my freshman year in high school. So I was used to it. I think the problem for me was I couldn't do what I like to do. I was so tired from the busy work. I didn't even want to film content. And that's the problem for me. It's like, when I feel like my life is wasting away, I like to change that. I wanted to change it. And so for me, I felt the best thing to do was to leave nursing school. I was in nursing school for two semesters and I decided, you know what? My heart isn't 1000% in it. And when you're in nursing school, you gotta be a thousand percent in it. You have to have faith because if you don't have any faith, you will not pass or you would not finish nursing school. And I just felt like I didn't have any faith whatsoever. So then I decided to leave nursing school. I'm glad I did because all in all, I think I would have regretted it if I stayed in nursing school. There's other reasons why I left nursing school. I also didn't, wasn't really a, too much of a fan of the healthcare system. I don't like how they give nurses seven patients, but I digress. Yeah, so being a full-time content creator, I've been full-time for a year now and it's been good. Like I have enjoyed it a lot. The only thing I don't like is kind of the up and down of payment, but I've saved enough to where it doesn't affect me if I don't go like a month or two without payment. When I first started, it was like, I was barely making anything, but now I've been doing it for three years. So I make 
you know, a good amount of money. Last year I made like $80,000 a year, which is really good, you know, but subtract taxes. Yeah, I've been able to be financially stable and doing something that I love to do and I create my own schedule. So I would say like, if you have a dream, go for it. And it was kind of a shock telling my parents because they were so adamant about me being a nurse because I've been saying like, oh, I want to be in the healthcare field for years. But once you get over that hump and conquer your fears, like you can do anything you would like to do. But I can go more into depth about me being a content creator, like the pros and cons, if that's something y'all are interested in hearing about but I've been able to travel so I've been able to go to different event events and mingle with different people and I love it it's bringing me closer to my dream and I eventually want to start my own hair company so I hope you guys will be on that journey with me like eventually in the next year or two I also want to do other big things and so I have my vision board I would really just say if you're trying to start out my advice would just be be consistent and pick you know three things that you want to do that you're niche down with and stay consistent with it if you don't have motivation have consistency that's my motto that's how I do content create that's how I've been able to do content creation for three years because the motivation it goes up and down it comes and goes with consistency it will always be there no matter if you're motivated or not okay so my hair is feeling scrumptious and the color mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my head and then I'm gonna separate. Okay, so this is what she's looking like. Curly cute, give me Annie vibes. Very cute, okay. So let's go ahead and separate. Like I said, I'm gonna keep doing what I did before, applying some oil, and I'm gonna separate just like that. All right, lovely people, this is the final product. So let me tell you what I did before I sign off. While I was picking my hair, I realized I wanted it a little bit bigger and more voluptuous. So I picked it out and then I took my blow dryer and I just kind of went and did the blow dryer like this just to elongate them. And it came out amazing. Usually I don't, but today I wanted it a little bit fuller and longer. So that's what I did. And this is the final product. And I love it. Shout out to everyone that watched to the end and shout out to everyone that just watched in general and just supporting my content. So I really do appreciate it. And I see you guys, I really do. Thank you guys for getting to know me a little bit better and learning a little bit about where I'm from, nursing school, being a full-time influencer. And if you want more tea, let me know. Drop it in the comments down below. Appreciate you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video.